Hey guys, I'm Elegant and you welcome to another Poker Vlog. So we don't have any new X and Y game information, but what we do have this week is some new X and Y anime information. So the news is that there's going to be a new X and Y following anime series with uh, the Kalos region, starting on October the 17th in Japan. Now I don't think this is going to be aired worldwide and dubbed worldwide at the same time, um, October the 17th, because first of all the fact that anime takes a while to translate. Even though the games are all being released internationally on October the 12th, I think the anime is going to be delayed somewhat as well because of the previous anime series running on until that time because the previous anime series hasn't even finished yet so the English is going to take a while to catch up to the uh, the Japanese one anyway so the delay is probably going to be the same amount of delay that was for the previous anime series. I would be surprised that they, if they did at the same time. But the one interesting thing I wanted to talk about is the storyline. And as original as it is, the storyline is going to be following Ash, travelling around the Kalos region, and trying to become the Pokemon Master. Now we don't know anything else other than this. Uh, we don't know any companions or whatnot. I would expect some new companions from the Unova series. I would kind of hope some, for some new companions, to be quite honest, because I didn't really like them. A lot of people wanted the old series to come back alive into it. I don't know whether it'll happen. But anyway, here is the picture, or the new picture, of Ash's new outfit and Ash in the brand new series. And this is something I wanted to talk about because it was quite interesting because the first thing you'll notice is his hat. Now we've seen a variety of hats from Ash through the generations, one for each region. Uh, but the reason this new hat struck me as so being particular is uh, the fact that it looks so much like Red's hat uh, from the third generation games Fire Red and Leaf Green. So this is Red and this is the new Ash. And you can see the hats are extremely extraordinarily similar, almost identical. Now the reason I find this so interesting is because if you don't remember from my previous video about Ash from Red, is that Ash was supposed to grow into Red. Now Ash was the anime character, kind of an immature, didn't know what he was doing, but wanted this uh, to become the Pokemon Master and had this massive ambition of becoming this Pokemon Master and befriending all these Pokemon. Uh, but Red was this wise character who had befriended all Pokemon, who was a Pokemon Master, who was mature, who uh, Ash would grow into through learning and beating his rival and becoming the Pokemon Master. But this didn't happen uh, because this was supposed to happen in the first generation and the second generation, it was the original idea of Pokemon. But this kind of died out in the later generations when Ash didn't grow up from being 10 years old. Because uh, five generations later, Ash is still 10 years old. It said in the anime he was still 10 years old, despite the fact at the end of the first generation, at the end of Kanto, uh, in the movie, Mewtwo movie, Ash said he'd been with Pikachu for a year, but yeah, that didn't happen. He didn't grow up at all. So this was uh, deemed as something Pokemon was just keeping uh, Ash in the series just to make money. And they didn't really want to make him grow up, and the fact that they were disappointing all the fans. And now, in the fifth generation, Ash, or the anime, generally got a lot of hatred to it. A lot of people didn't like it because of that Ash had suddenly become this childish character. And he looked childish, he looked more childish than the other generations. And everyone really just didn't like it because it was more appealing to children rather than the older people uh, compared to the original series, which was pretty childish anyway. Uh, they sort of done that because Pokemon's always been quite a childish anime. Now, it shouldn't have been, but the fact is, Pokemon started out as like one of the first early animes, but it was child friendly, so it didn't really appeal to the older old, old audience because anime wasn't really an established thing in older people's uh, society or whatever. It was definitely, it came from the cartoons, but it was still an anime, but therefore it was put with the children's sort of thing, and therefore a put an anime that would be deemed today as for everyone, and the normal people would watch, like old people and young people was deemed as a child's sort of anime cartoon kind of thing, which is why they developed into this childish cartoon thing in the Unova region. But like I said, they got a lot of hate from it. So what I think they might have done is that I don't know whether they had thought of this through the Unova region or they thought of this because of all the hate in the Unova region. They might be making Ash older in the, in the sixth generation. I don't know. This is just speculation from seeing it. But the fact is Ash looks particularly like Red. And he doesn't look like he's wearing an outfit similar to the game character, which is what the usual circumstance is. Uh, his hat is completely different. Um, the actual game characters, the game male protagonist in the game, just wears a plain red hat. The outfits are somewhat similar, but they are very different. Uh, like, the game character has quite different embellishments and shoes and things like that uh, to his clothes. And it's more baggy than Ash's. It's got a different, completely different shape to the clothing. I know that's probably not important. 
but it does seem quite interesting that Ash's whole outfit does look more like Red's outfit than the game protagonist's outfit, which is quite odd for the usual sort of thing. And now, if you look at all the Ashes throughout the generations, each from one region, we look at the outfit changing, how the outfit changes, and how Ash changes, and we'll see that Ash slowly becomes more and more like Red. And the fact is, despite people seeing Ash becomes immature in the fifth generation, Ash has always seemed like quite a child throughout all the generations. He looks quite young. But suddenly, in the sixth generation, Ash looks older. And now I'm not just saying this, he genuinely looks older, he looks more mature, still like a child, but he looks older. So it's progressing, he might actually become 11! Oh my god, big news, I know. But the fact is, if you look at his shoes and a couple other things on him, they slowly become more and more like reds, they change style, they change colour to become red and like reds. And his jacket even changes, um, the jacket slowly had this lining developing, and now he has a white lining, um, the, the parting of his jacket just like red. Uh, so now I'm sort of thinking they might be bringing back or they might have just held off Ash growing up into red. Hopefully they'll have a brand new series of Ash being this more mature character with different front companions and not being called a kid by Iris all the time which is particularly annoying. Uh, so let's move on to the question of the week. So what do you want to see from the brand new Pokemon X and Y anime? Do you want to see Ash finally developing into this red character that we've been waiting for since Generation 1 and 2 and we just haven't gotten him to finally become 11 years old or just older than 10 years old? Or do you want to see like a new anime like the shorts for Pokemon Black and White 2? A lot of people wanted that to be made into its own anime style. Or do you want you know, Ash to be developed into this new style or this new style just becoming the new Pokemon? Uh, personally, I would really like to see Ash grow up because, you know, I still have a thing I have a close part of me in Ash, it is the original Ash, I don't like the Unova Ash, it's rubbish. Uh, no offence to anyone who does like Unova, but I think everybody kind of has a, the uh, united agreement that it needs to develop, it needs to be for all older audience, and Unova kind of ruined that, it did not appeal to a lot of people, uh, and everyone I spoke to just didn't like the Unova series compared to the previous series. So I love the, the first and second generation to come back and sort of Ash to become this newer character, not like the first generation, but follow on from the first generation and the second generation and possibly the third generation, because uh, I would just love Ash to be finally become the Pokemon Master and finally age. So anyway, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment down below and I'll see you next time. <laughs>